The previous segment showed how to configure the printer correctly on the network. This segment shows how to configure the LAVU application to use the U220B as a kitchen printer. On your computer screen, open up a browser window. Google Chrome is recommended and go to admin.lavu.com. Enter the username and password for your account. You should have an email containing this information. If not, please visit lavu.com and click on the chat tab on the bottom right corner of your browser window or email support at lavu.com or call 855-528-8457. To speak with a customer care representative. The new version of the LAVU control panel displays the navigation panel on the left, like this. The old version of the LAVU control panel displays the navigation panel on the top, like this. Regardless of where your navigation bar appears, locate and click on the settings button. Look for the rightmost column at the top. It is called Printers Technical. Look for the second link in the list that says Printers KDS. Click on it. This part of the application is the same for both versions of the LAVU control panel. Look for the Printers KDS section. If yours is a new account, then nothing will be listed here yet. To add a new printer, click on the green Add New button. Click on the drop-down list next to the first item labeled Setting. Look down the list to find each kitchen option. Each printer added to your account must be unique. That's why there are other kitchen names available, like Kitchen 2 and Kitchen 3. You'll use one of these names if you install another kitchen printer. Type in a name for your printer that makes sense for how you are using it. Most clients type in the word kitchen. If you have more than one kitchen printer, name each one according to how you are using it. Type in the IP address from your label stuck on the printer. Click in the port line and type in 9100. Click on the drop-down list next to printer type. Find the word Epson and click on it. Click on the drop-down list next to command set and find the words Epson impact and click on them. Click on the drop-down list next to model. Scroll down to find the TMU220 selection and click on it. Click on the drop-down list next to image capability. Scroll down to find the Epson graphic selection and click on it. Make sure the perform status check, Epson or star only, is not checked. It is not necessary at this time to change any of these last few settings. Click on the submit button to save the application settings describing the new printer. The printer now shows in the printer list as a kitchen printer. The LAVU application is configured to recognize the TMU220B as a device for printing order items sent to the kitchen. The next segment will show how to confirm that the application on the iPad can connect and print to this printer.